welcome. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> How's your week been? Weather's been okay? Yeah. Not bad, has it, really? Well, it is uh, supposed to be... Uh, uh, well, it's July now, isn't it? But at the time, it was June, wasn't it? Flaming June. Um, weather's not been too bad uh, for me. Uh, I've had some really lovely hot days, and I've had some days like today when the weather is, well, shall we say, a crying heavily. But never mind, there we go. I'd like to make a few thank yous, if I may, please, before we get on with this week's vlog. I would love to thank um, Stuart, who I met at uh, the Hack Green Locks uh, recently. Um, great to see you, Stuart, and I hope you've made it uh, safely to your new destination with your lovely boat and your partner. Uh, I'd also like to thank Dave and his lovely wife, who I met at uh, Nantwich. And I um, hope you managed to sort out your photographs there, uh, Dave. Um, sounds like you've got a job on your hand there, but uh, hopefully uh, all is well now. And finally, I've got to say a huge thank you to the lovely Mary from Narrowboat Harriet, East Sussex, um, <laughs> who I met at Addersley Locks and help me through those locks so i just want to say a huge thank you to all those lovely people and a huge thank you to you too and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then please do hit the uh, subscribe button and don't forget the old thumbs up so <clears throat> this week hmm the vlog hmm yeah quite well <gasps> Uh, as you know, I'm on my summer travels now. Where I will go, I know not. Uh, just following the pointy end of the boat, you know. Um, but I am back in Chester, and I'm leaving Chester ba basically for the last time, for now anyway, uh, en route to my summer as cruising. So what I've done is I've put together a, a montage of the uh, clips that I took as I left Chester uh, with um, Steve from Onboard Amy Jo um, and some of my thoughts about Chester and some of my thoughts about the winter period that I've had. Uh, also, uh, the very end of it, there's a classic case of how to turn a boat. Have you ever wondered how to turn an arrowboat? <laughs> You're going to like that one. Really going to like that one. So don't forget to hang on to the end for that. So, right then. Let's get on with it, shall we then? From Chester to wherever. Here we go. So, as I leave uh, Chester, uh, for the last time, for currently anyway, um, and the Cow Lane Moorings. Now, Cow Lane Moorings are so strategically placed. They are excellent for visiting the shops, the shopping centre and Tesco, which is just around the corner. Unfortunately, they take on a totally different aspect of a weekend in the evening when the uh, local uh, how it, um, youngsters who wish to impress their girlfriends think it's a great idea to try and run along the gunnels of a boat and indeed on one occasion, although not my boat, to throw a beer bottle at it. It's, um, it's a shame really, uh, but uh, don't be put off more in there. During the week, Cowley Moorings are excellent. Uh, for a weekend, yeah, okay, if you like the nightlife, you don't mind putting up with a bit of noise, uh, then fair enough. Uh, but I think the basin, Chester Basin itself, is is much better it's much calmer and despite the student accommodation there um, they're pretty well behaved on, on the most part um, you do get the occasional um, guy who's obviously looking for a girlfriend and decides that uh, about uh, eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock at night to open his bedroom window and uh, yodel like Tarzan uh, obviously uh, looking uh, for a mate
Chester itself is a beautiful city. I actually really enjoyed walking around Chester. I'd like to have done the full tour of the Roman walls. And uh, please, if you do find yourself anywhere near Chester, take time out to explore. It's got some hidden gems in it. It's absolutely a, a lovely place. And I really enjoyed my time uh, visiting it. For those of you that don't have a boat, we're just passing a restaurant boat now and you can actually have your meal on this boat while it does a very short uh, little cruise. Uh, and for those of you who uh, like the uh, canal side pubs, you will find them in abundance along here. And during the day, absolutely stunning scenery and um, from all accounts, um, some very pleasant ales as well, if you're that way inclined. So yes, uh, Chester, I give it a very, very high rating and I do thoroughly recommend you visit. As you will see there are plenty of other moorings along the canal side and here we are just uh, passing the shot tower on our port side and on our starboard side just coming up now are um, I believe it's the three hour uh, moorings specifically for those that wish to frequent Waitrose which is the building we are now passing. For those of you who uh, enjoy shopping in Chester, uh, especially the ladies, you will find loads and loads of interesting arcades and shops. Uh, it certainly is a very cosmopolitan city. Now, I also want to share with you some of the thoughts of my time in Cheshire as you know I uh, came here in October and fell into a lockdown situation and there were a couple of events which uh, made me extend my stay until now Before my arrival here in Cheshire, I hadn't met the likes of um, Captain Gary, no, Gary Captain Phillips, nor had I met uh, Steve and Chris on Life Aboard Amy Jo, and many other friends as well. They are amazing people, and I'm really blessed to have met them, and to have them within my social uh, circle. The countryside around here is absolutely stunning and shortly we will be uh, cruising through my favourite part of uh, countryside and uh, when we do I'm just going to uh, let the music roll and the scenery unfold before you. Obviously there are like any other area there are parts that you prefer not to be uh, 
cruising through, not because they are unsafe or anything, it's just that the scenery is just not there. And um, But there are also some fantastic moorings along this stretch. It's a shame about the shroppy shelf, which for those that don't know, is like a right angle of concrete that comes out the full length of the canal. And on, on occasions, you really do need something like a tire to moor up with. And that is why you'll see an awful lot of boats with uh, tires on the back of the stern of them. And that's what it's for, to keep you away from the shroppy shelf. Again, as we leave uh, Chester on the starboard side now, you can see the water tower. And uh, on the port side, this beautiful row of cottages. I absolutely love these cottages. And you'll recall they have featured before in my uh, entry into uh, Chester. Uh, on one of those, uh, and in fact, on several other vlogs that I have made on Chester. The people that live here are truly blessed with an um, absolute fabulous outlook. One day I will, re will return to Chester and hopefully I'll be able to bring someone special along with me so that we can enjoy the scenery and the delights together.
Now I did mention that we're going to pass through my favourite parts of uh, scenery wise on the Shropshire Union at this end and here we go and we're starting at the Cheshire Cat which is a public house which uh, many vloggers have mentioned underneath the uh, weeping willow tree oh dear <laughs> there's a lot of these on the Shropshire and as we come up on our port side, we are now passing the first uh, hire boat company. You will recall in my recent vlog, I showed you the actual boats that we used. And this is the slipway with which they were launched. And many people on their holidays. Just here, as we make our way down towards uh, Waverton and the uh, infamous Egg Bridge, which you have heard me talk about on many occasions, I absolutely adore this stretch of canal. It is some of the most picturesque that I've come across at this end of the Shropshire Union, and it is flanked by some amazing properties absolutely stunning um, outlooks for them all and for us as too as we pass by and we look back and can only wonder uh, what these uh, fabulous houses look like uh, from within I've often mentioned that um, we are very privileged as uh, canal boaters uh, that live on our narrow boats or take holidays on our narrow boats that we see some stunning views which can only be seen from these fabulous canals we are so indebted to the navigators or navvies as they were known who actually built these with their bare hands and a pick and a shovel I'm sure they could not have imagined how much enjoyment they would be bringing to us in later years. So to the spirits of all those navigators that fought hard and worked hard, thank you very much for one very, very happy and content uh, continuous cruiser.
So as we approach Waverton and Eggbridge, let us just nip back to the Cheshire Cat. As I promised, here is a boater who is able to turn his boat on a sixpence. It's quite amazing to watch it happen. I know there'll be others that can do this as well, but for everyone out there who would like to see this uh, fantastic procedure, <laughs> here we go. we go then <laughs> it sure does help if you've got a 25 foot narrow boat uh, wasn't it magic <laughs> i love that i love it i love it uh, thank you thank you to all my wonderful subscribers those that have joined in the last week and those that have been with me from the start your comments and your encouragement are amazing and I just really really want to say a thank you from the bottom of my heart for my Facebook family <laughs> oh it just seems to keep growing but you are some of the most amazing people out there I really do enjoy your interactions I really enjoy the encouragement you give me again and uh, what can I say love you all love you all <laughs> And if you'd like to join my uh, Facebook family, the link will be appearing on the screen now. Right. So, here we go then. Um, next week we cruise into new waters. But until then, I, I wish you the very best of weeks. I wish you the healthiest of weeks. And may the sun shine on you. And if you're on holiday, have a good one and have a good rest. And until we meet again next Sunday, this is Ian on board Morning Star. Ta-da!